Can you imagine the company New York's gonna walk away with that for ninety thousand? One year maturity. So it was like a Jesus. hard money loan. Or? That's worse than a hard. That's like I, I guess that is a hard money loan. That's what they gave him that loan. He wanted to rehab the house. Mm -hmm. Francis, stick with me. Stick with me. This is Max, how you doing? All right, you? I'm doing well. Um, I'm calling from Venture Atlas. I think you may have spoken to uh, one of my associates. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, perfect. How you doing today? All right, all right. Um, so I, the reason for my call today is because typically anything over 125,000, they gotta get my approval and that's just, just easier sometimes if I just make the call myself. Yes, sir. So I just wanted to uh, reach out to you and kind of see what, you know, some of this may be redundant because you may have told like a lot of things, but you know, I wanted to find out some information about the house. Is that cool? Yes, sir. All right. Well, tell me, tell, just tell me a little bit about it. Um. Well, I inherited the home ten years ago. Um. In the in the meantime, I upgraded the home for as uh, cheap rock, um, crown molding, vinyl windows. Uh, paint, vinyl outside, um, upgraded the old copper uh, plumbing pipes to PC pipes, um, new counter, uh, kitchen sink, sticky tile, um, just pretty much everything I could, man. Um, man. the home, yeah, like that I've been here for 10 years, and I, re I do have a loan on the home of 90K. Mm -hmm. That um, that's pushing me to sell the home. Okay. Um, that's my reason for for sale. But okay. that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. Well, it sounds like you did a lot of work to it, man. A lot of work. Um. You know, I'm looking. You got. You got. Tell me. Tell me more about this loan that you got. It's with EK. I don't know if you guys have did any. Um, well, I'm pretty sure you guys have did your research online on the home and it's a, a sell and stay with, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the I buy your company, um, but it's a sell and stay with these guys. And pretty much they um, have given me funds or money on the, on, on the property and I'll have to pay it back within a 12 month period. And if I don't, um, I will have to sell. It's, it's no mortgage or Nothing like that. I'm not not behind on any payments yeah. other than the amount that's owed back at the due of the sale of the property. Got it. Okay. So it's like a it's like a lien loan they put on it, basically. Yeah, so to speak, yes, sir. Okay. Well that's uh I've never heard of so that's interesting to you know, but that that, that sounds pretty cool. So, I mean listen, it sounds like you did a lot of work to the house. Have you ever thought about listing it with a real estate agent? No, and the reason being because um, I kind of missed that time window as far as listening with an agent, mm -hmm. as far as uh, getting these guys paid back. Oh, okay. I, I'm at that year's mark where um, I just need to go ahead and sell and just move forward. Okay. So what, I mean, what you're talking, you, you keep bringing up a deadline. What? What's, so they have a, a one year time frame. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Man. So what happens if you don't pay it back in one year? Um, I, I can't even think that way. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. What, I mean, what do they kind of say in the contract? Is it something? I mean, I'm assuming that they would take ownership of the property. Oh, wow. For 90,000, huh? At the small amount that they gave me on it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, man, that, that's terrible. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, so you're, are you, how many, how, how much more months do you have left? Um, I'd say maybe 30 days. 30 days, okay. Yeah, to get get a deal together, get it going. Well, listen, I mean, I've I've bought a house in as little as seven, so that's that's at least a little bright news. I just wanted to kind of, I, I just never heard of these type of loans before where they, you know, they force you to do a one-year thing and or they force you to sell. 
kind of crazy. Is it? Is it unusual for? Is it? Am I surprised? No. I mean, I think I think people take advantage of people all the time. You know what I mean? And, and, and unfortunately, this sounds like. So your only option is to pay them 100% back at, at in in one year. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, have you thought about going to a regular financial institution and kind of refinancing it? Um, that's not an option. Okay. Well, you know, I, and, and here's, I know you're probably thinking, why is this guy not want my house? And that's, that's not the scenario here. What I'm trying to do is find out the best actual solution for you. You know, I, I, I'm not the, I'm, I'm not always the best option for everybody I talk to. Reason is, is I'm, a, I'm an investor, you know, I, I got to buy the house and fix it up and get it to standards and be able to sell it in the future. And I'm sure you understand that we it's but I want it to be a win win situation for both of us. So I'm just trying to just trying to go through the actual, you know, the options that you do have available to you. Yes, sir. OK, so what were you what do you what's the perfect scenario for you in this situation right now? To sell. <laughs> <laughs> I get you on that one. How fast? Uh, uh, within the next couple of weeks. Okay. But again, the the price. Um, my price range has to be my price range, and the reason being because I'm I'm going to have to be able to move forward in life, far as a, a down payment on another home, and just just to be able to get my structure, you know, for my next move forward. Yeah, that's understandable. So you're you're looking to sell, catch up on the loan, have some money in your pocket to be able to, you know, either rent for a little while or buy a house when the time is right, things like that? Yes, sir. Okay. Correct. Have you thought, are you going to stay in the area or are you thinking about moving? No, I'm going to stay in the area. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, what type, what type of work do you do? Um, I'm a dump truck driver, CDLs. Oh, wow, okay. Man, I'm actually uh, building a piece of property of mine and I'm gonna be loading out a bunch. They, when they told me about the price of gravel, I almost lost my shirt. <laughs> you guys got it rocking and rolling, man. I need to get a dump truck or two, huh? Yes, sir. Commonality. Okay, so your perfect scenario, if I'm just recanting this in my head, it'd be good for you to get out within 30 days. Um, it'd be good for you to get the price you've been talking about because you Obviously, you got a good job and you want to stay local and you just want to you want to move on. You want to move on, but you want to move on with something in your pocket. Yes, sir. OK, so not talking about the loan. What what is it that you want to have in your pocket? What's a good amount of number you want to walk away with? Well, right now, I do have a, a, a real cash offer of one hundred and forty K. Oh, wow. Um, yes, sir. Um, on the home. Uh, as is cash offer. Mm -hmm. So my the, my ultimate goal is to to get as much as I can. Absolutely. I can only sell the home um, once. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Perfect sense. You want to get the most out of it, right? You know, yes, makes sense. As me as an investor, I want to buy as cheap as possible and you want to sell high as possible. That's and, right. And we got to meet somewhere in the middle. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir. I understand. So that $140,000 cash offer, is it solid? Do you, I mean, why haven't you just taken it? Because it sounds like a good number. Um, again, I'm going to only have to do this once, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can uh, out, of, out of the home. You want to do it right. Do it once and do it right. Yeah. That's understandable. So I have ex excellent reviews on, on closing, so I'm, I'm, that's not rid of my issue. It's just my issue is just trying to find someone that could give me more than what he's offering. Yeah. Well, here, here's here's one thing, Brian. I've, I've been in this business for a little while, and it's one thing to get a contract on a house and it's another thing to close. Yes, sir. And, and what I say by that is, especially these iBuyers buyers in, in general, these guys will give you a, a number over the phone, yes. sign, sign a contract with you, put some type of crazy inspection clause in there, come out to the house and actually see it, and then they're gonna drop down the price by 20, 30% of what they quoted you just because that's what's in their contract. So I, I, I say that just for you to be kind of knowledgeable, which I'm sure you've done your homework. I'm pretty sure you've spent a lot of time on Google searching. Mm -hmm. So 
The, the ability to close is also important and, and being able to get the true number now because here's, here's what you're up against. You, you got a time clock and you don't, want, you don't need anybody playing games when you get closer to closing. And, and, and to be honest with you, with you, with you revealing that, if you've revealed that to anybody else, I've just, I've just been around the block. I've just seen dirty practices that I would call, you know, unethical, maybe not illegal, but unethical. So just be careful with whatever offer you get. And listen, I'm not disappointed if I can't buy your house. I can't buy every single house I, you know, I talk to and stuff like that. So, yes, you know, if I, if, if, hey, you might be, you might be the one charging me uh, all that money for the, for the, for the rock on my, on my land I'm doing. I might, I will still be friends. So I, there's no hard feelings over here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, is there anybody else that you got to consult before you make this decision, you know, uh, and sign off on any paperwork? Is it just yourself? No, it's just myself. Then I would, um, again, I would turn everything over to and and they would do the finalizing, I guess, with the lawyers and the guys would get the lawyers together and I okay. the finalizing. They, they would have to actually sign off um, on the contract. Okay, so 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 they so they would have to do the approval on the contract. Yes, sir. That's yes, it, sir. man. I'm learning something every day, and I've been in this business for a while. This is a new one to me. Um, but as long as they get their money that they're owed, they don't care. No, they don't. That's that's their main goal. They can get two seats, man. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. If I sold it for a uh, uh, hundred thousand or five hundred thousand, as long as they get their due, what's due to them. They don't give. I hear that. I understand. Okay, so I'm just picturing this in my head now. What do you think this house is worth, like completely fixed up? Like if you if if you had you know the money to put in it and you can sell it on the open market, what what do you think you can get? What are houses going for in that neighborhood? And that's that's a crazy question because I really don't understand that because um, the house is uh, is labeled as a ranch um, for starters. Um, excellent area, man. It, I, several nights I've gone to sleep with my front door unlocked by accident, of course. <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example of the neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, sir. And and but when when I look on Zillow or these other uh, property sites, you know I see a 900 square foot home in the middle of the ghetto. Um, that's that you can tell someone that came in and renovated the home. But they'll want one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars for the home. Mm -hmm. You know, but then you come out here to where my piece of land is. I, I it's, that's a hard question, you know. So I, I, I can't really say. But I know it's also a home that's, um, I think, several blocks down that's for sale. That's kind of the same uh, acres, and and it does. Um, in fact, it might be a little bit bigger. But I think they're asking maybe two. 240 something around in that neighborhood okay but again I, I i really don't know okay well that's that's honest um you know if, if if you can do any updates to the property yourself right you can do whatever you wanted to do what 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 are some things you would do like if you were me right like so on this side right now you're kind of helping me out to be honest with you i'm trying to paint a picture in my head that hey if i was able to give you what you're asking for what type of work do I need to do to get this property so I can, you know, in, in a year's time, be able to put it on the market if the market's still a market in a year's time uh, and, and, and get that done? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I say the house needs at least about 15K worth of work. So okay. Great. And that's just being completely honest. And I appreciate but that. My goal would be it's two lots. It's lot 54 and 55 with two separate parcels. My goal would be to buy it as a whole and build additional home on that lot 54 that's vacant. Okay. And capitalize on my <laughs> investment. Okay. But that's 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 what that has been my goal. Um, the time I was here, but I just couldn't never get to that goal financial wise to be able to do that. That's understandable. Before I got caught up in the loan and starting my truck, dump truck business and everything. Well, I mean, was it worth it? I mean, you, you, it seems like, you know, you're in the right industry, especially an essential worker right now. I mean, yeah, I guess it was worth it, but 
that's life sometimes. Sometimes you lose things. Yeah, I mean, you got to look at the brighter side of things sometimes too, you know. Maybe it's, I understand you inherited it, and but, you know, it gave you an opportunity. I mean, listen, we're all at some point in our life, and some people are better off than others, but I would say, you know, you and I, we got it pretty good compared to some other people. Yeah, I would, and that's a blessing, man. Exactly. It could be so much worse. Exactly. So... What, what's your price? What do you, what do you? What, I know you said that the, the, you gave him 140. You're telling me that you, you, you hang up if I give you anything less than 140. Yeah, I would have to. My goal. Would my, you hang up the phone hard or soft? I'm just asking. <laughs> no, no sir. No sir. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. I understand. No, I get it. I get it. No, no hard feelings. But my goal is at least to be at at, at, at 145 to 150. I would sell for 145. And again, I'm going, to, I'm going to bring you back to something you said early in our conversation about letting people in on your timeline. Yes, sir. Because at first, these guys were originally at 145. So they already started. They already started negotiating down. Yeah, yes, but this after they came out to the property and they looked over in and out. They spent as much time they needed. And in the home, outside the home, looking at the additional lot and, and, and going over their figures as well. Who, who, if you don't mind me asking, who, who is it? If you don't, if you don't mind telling me, who, who was it? Was it a big company? No, it's a, it's a, in the, it's a private investor like yourself. Okay. Yes, sir. Now I was originally dealing with. And they shut down for, they shut down for a little while. And that was, that was bad news for me because these guys have gave me an offer of 190k. They would have, but, but like I said before, they would have never gave you 190K. They would have came out to you and they would have negotiated the price down based upon, it's a, it's a common practice with these guys. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they lock it up over the phone with you. Then they actually come visit the property with an inspector and they do an inspection and they say, hey, I know you told us you only needed 15,000, but from our calculations, we need 40,000. So I need to reduce the price by X amount of dollars. Or I need to do this and that. It's, it's, it's different. Remember, these guys are in Silicon Valley in San Francisco in some ivory tower making decisions here in Durham, Triad, Greensboro. They don't know any, they don't know these streets. Yeah, yes sir. So, you know, they, they, they're just using algorithms to tell you what they may pay for. So, so let me let me ask you this. Even if even if I came at 140 but you knew I was going to really buy it, would would you just I mean, if you if you already got did you sign the contract for 140? No, sir. Okay. So do you, if I can if I was able to get to 140, I'm not saying I can. But if I was able to get to 140, would you at least entertain me? Cuz I know I'm going to close. Uh, mm. I'd close sooner. No, sir. Okay. And I can respect that. No, sir. I, I wouldn't. Um, I have been dealing with these guys. Um, I, well, between between you and I, we have exchanged over 62 emails. Oh, wow. On the, on this piece of property. So he's definitely time invested. And I wouldn't. If you can't beat this offer, I, I can't. I would, I would definitely have to go with the guy that I've been. And I like that because that, that shows integrity. Because that means you wouldn't do the same thing to me. If I offered you, if if I offered you more, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I so, I'm. If I if we were able to come to an agreement today, would you sign today? Yes, after doing my due diligence. Okay. Um. And what do you mean by due diligence? Just just curious. Um. Just um. <laughs> As far as going as find out as far as everything I can about you guys, your company, um, absolutely, your views, just every every anything, even calling, even calling back a couple of people, and just, just like I said, just invest. So you, so so let me get this right. I know you want to get the best offer. So even if I gave you a, a higher number, you'd probably go back and ask somebody for another higher number. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. As far as I mean, it's calling. I mean, your reviews and okay. reaching out to people you have done business. Oh, perfect. With. Okay. And what if we show? What if we showed you proof of funds, and put down a deposit? 
it's a done deal. That makes sense, right? Because a lot of people talk money, but I would, if you were closer, which I'm in Winston Salem, if you were closer, I'd have you come to my office. Yes, sir. And then, but you know, I don't, obviously don't want you to drive an hour and twenty minutes to just come look at my office. But on the day of closing, we'll meet each other. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I want you to put a timer on your clock. Give me 15 minutes and I'm gonna call you back. All right, so. And what I'm gonna just either tell you if I can go higher or not. And it's just gonna be honest. And I just, I just wanna do my due diligence on this one just a little bit more, just to make sure I don't lose, my, lose myself. Do you, and, and do you have any pictures? I think you sent those to. Yes, I, I guess I sent um, a few pictures over, yes sir. Okay. But I can also do a video walkthrough of the home if needed to be. Oh, you got a, you got like an uh, iPhone or something? Well, yes, sir, I do. Okay. All right, well, it is now 27 after. Give me 15 minutes or before, and I'm going to call you back. That sounds good. Thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye. So you see in that scenario... I pulled out everything, painted the picture of what it, I, I can't even think like that. Mm -hmm. We know where he's gonna stay, I know what type of work he does, I know everything. That wasn't a difficult conversation you would say, was it? Mm -hmm. I was just asking questions that you guys maybe are afraid to ask. That's one of the first things I thought about. Um, when you asked him how much he, uh, who he got the loan from, I was thinking like, I don't know if we're afraid to ask because we, don't deal with that much money or if it's a situation that we haven't been in because we're all younger. Did, how many times did you hear me smile? A lot. A lot. A lot of times I could You think you can hear him? Smile. You think he heard me smile? Yeah. So even when I was asking some of the more difficult questions, he heard, he heard me smile. He heard the banter. He heard the laughter. His answer came back with a smile too. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I played into who he was. And that was hard. If he didn't, if I knew the number to get, I would have, I would have had him sign a contract while I was on the phone. You would, you would reach out and say, hey, I got a hot one. Somebody come help. Do you think that 140 that they're talking about is guaranteed? I, I know it's hot. Right? So let me, I'm, I'm doing my research right now. Where's my laptop? Down the street for 80, right? Of updated property for 209, updated. And it's been sitting in the market for like 50 days. Really? Let me grab my laptop. Um, the only difference was the uh, price anchor that the person dropped in the beginning of the conversation last week from this, co uh, from this conversation. Everything else was the same. Just different yeah. motivations. I hear it. It's the that he just lives. It's, it's priced low, but let's buy it because. But they pay 170 for it. I know, but who renovated it? So they bought a turnkey renovated? No, I don't think so. You, you see, so if they bought at 170 and renovated, they were, they were losing money at 209. Look at the floors on this, uh, on, on our property that we're talking to. That's beautiful. That's, that's character. Watch this. Uh, okay, well, here's a picture of the kitchen. How much time I got, y'all? He's supposed to beautiful back cabinet. Too. But you know it's not. Eight minutes. Okay. That's, Is that, do you see a countertop? I love that countertop. <clears throat> now, now what is the game changer, or could be the game changer on this one, is the extra the lot. lot. Correct. The extra lot is worth 40000 Period. So that's, if you buy a 145, you got an extra lot, and a lot is worth 40, so then you're buying really a 105. Correct. I just don't know how big the extra lot is. It's a, it's a regular size lot. Let me see. It's a point twenty six twenty seven probably. I'm about to lock it up. 
the only thing is that we're not over there to do this. You know how difficult it is to do this rentals from far away. Huh? What do you say? To do the rehab. I wouldn't touch it. You're not gonna touch it, you're just gonna assign it to somebody, sell it to somebody. I, I think I know some people up there that I can maybe sell it to. I mean, if you can sell the, uh, yeah. If you can sell a lot and then sell a house at the same price. So where's his, oh, he does have the exact same lot next door. Yeah. So you're getting both of them? Yeah. That's where the money is. Yeah. What size is that lot? They're, they're, uh, Can you imagine the company in New York's gonna walk away with that for 90,000? One year maturity? So it was like a Jesus. hard money loan? Or? That's worse than a hard, that's like. I, I guess that is a hard money loan. That's they gave him that loan, he wanted to rehab the house. Mm -hmm. Francis, stick with me. Stick with me. Oh yeah, so we're here. So just on the back street, Fitzford, way different house, 260, it, it sold for, that was, that was December though, for 245. Mark is still strong. Mark is very strong right now. Yeah, I mean it's uh, December. It's May now. How much time left? Yeah, I mean, it's really probably even hotter than December because December was, uh, you know, we're going to spring. Does it make a difference that it's a college town? It's in itself is already hot, just in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah it surprises me. Yeah. Yeah. It surprises me that, um, Yeah, it's, uh, you know. If I went drove through it when I was coming back from uh, Norfolk. Yeah, I would look a lot. I'd like to see, uh, let's see. Let me, just give me three minutes. She took all the time to oh, do. Oh, shoot, three minutes. I don't have, you got. No, I don't have the. What do you want? Well, let's see. So, you see that comp 209 there? Yeah. Why is it, why is it there for like 40 some days? I was trying, I was going to try to call them and find out, but who's that? Why is, why don't you call the, uh, the realtor? The agent? Yeah. Well, you can't sit there and wait that long if you're going to do it. I mean, they just did it. They just. You know who's selling it. So, that means it's a terrible job then. Well, the, 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 it doesn't look bad. Look at the kitchen. It's granite. Yeah, but when they're, 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 they're details, look at the picture, look, though. Look, look. But I get it, Francis, but their details, when I went and checked out a property, and it looks great. Yeah. So that I didn't pay 170 for it then. No. Oh, come um, on, you know they didn't update anything, man. Yeah, it's not pretty like we would do it. But in, in, and I, I looked at the outside. The outside doesn't look that um, pretty either. It looks pretty there. What's what's the, oh yeah, and I saw the 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 lot was nice too. So that's a that was a good comp. So that's that worries me. That gave me a little bit of a red flag, to be honest with you. That's why I, I told you about it. So let's. Oh, so you look at it. it went in the pending at two oh nine. Mm -hmm. It went in the pending, then it dropped out. And then the price lowering. So went into pending and then, and then sort of uh, just, just saying. 15 minutes blew by that fast? 15 minutes. What time did I tell them? 243. So let's do the numbers. 
That's at 145, right? Because that one is yellow. 145. And let's say, uh, you know, more likely, it almost needs to be like 199. Because if that house is not only at 209, why would this one what, what's the value on the lot that you add no, back in? It's already split too. No, one oh nine. Hear me out. Hear me out. One oh nine updated. That's the thing. Here's 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 here's, here's the thing. No, Let's just say this is the house. You bought the lot. Say you sell the lot for twenty thousand. Stick a flag in it. Day, say day one twenty thousand. Then you really bought it at two one twenty. One twenty five. Yeah. One twenty five. Okay. So what kind of renovation you're gonna do? Lipstick, 12, 15? No, you can't do that. Like that. Well, man, you know how fast we're gonna get. Let's get this guy calling. 150, let's say you do 25. You are 150, okay? So you sell 200, 10% and stuff, one hit, you make 30,000. Max, you, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. So, I called you back on time, right? Okay. Yes, sir. I want to be a man of my word. You know, I'm. A, here's here. I'm be honest with you. I'm looking at a property on the same street that uh, on. Mm. Do you, you familiar with that house? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, it's, it's the, it's the red, it's like a red color, I guess, wood siding. Mm -hmm. it, it's, I think it's less than a block away from where you're at. It, okay, it, yes, sir. it should have a for sale sign on it. Well, the, my main thing is they got the house on market for 209 for the last 30 days and it hasn't sold yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, you know, that's, that's my... I'm just being very blunt and honest with you. I think they're, they need to be around 199, which hurts a little bit if I go to, one, let's just say I can go to 145. I don't know if I can, right? But the one kicker you have is you, you do have an extra lot, but I don't know if anybody's doing building over there. Um, what over 140 do you gotta have to get this deal today? You know, because you got a relationship with the other guys, and I don't want to break that over a thousand bucks. You know what I mean? That's I'm not I'm not crazy. Yeah, it would have to be at um at least one forty-five. That's my ultimate goal. If I can get that out. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's not going to put me exactly where I need to be, but it would be, you know. It's a step in the, yeah, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. You know, as far as putting, you know, 20, 30 grand down on a new house. Can, can you, can you, can you do me a favor real quick? Yes, sir. Can you, can you use internet on your phone while we talking? Like um, it? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I know some service plans don't allow you to do that. I was want, I was going to want you to, uh. Just look with me at this property and kind of just get, because I'm buying all of this off of just your word, you know, but I, I, we've been honest with each other, so I just wanted you to look at and just kind of see what you thought about it, because you know the area. You've been there for 10 years. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty much a, hey, how you doing, go about my business, you know. Yeah, I just wanted to pull it up. I just wanted you to pull it up so you can see it and then tell me, you know, what is your house compared to, to this? And that would give me, like, an understanding. Well, um, I have worked with a, um, a realtor. Well, I was planning to work with a realtor um, um, a, a few months back before I missed that time window. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, he used that as a house as a comparison at one time. 
but the 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 um what I would say that makes this kind of stand out more would be the so there's no lie or it could be sold as a whole even as a um in 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 one whole okay because uh because because I think their lot is a, a seven um point something acres mm -hmm. and this lot is double that size. Hmm. So you say the house? I, I think the house is a little bit bigger. For I think it might be a three bed, three bath, or something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a three bedroom, two bath. Um, seventeen. I, I think it's bigger than fifteen seventy seven. It is. Fi yes, yeah, fifteen. It is fifteen seventy seven. Oh wow. Oh, that's crazy because that's exactly the same size as this. Um, my house is 1577. I would just love for you to see these pictures. Do you have a computer in the house? Um, let me see. And he said the address is 58? Yeah, 5807 Lily Drive. Lily Drive. Give me one second. Okay. See, at this point, I just want to get him talking. Keep him talking. Because I ain't figured out where I want to go with this yet. We know he lied to me already. Because he said he didn't know where it was, and then he gave you the square footage, how many bed, beds okay. you have to or... Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So d d were you able to look it up through through the uh, internet? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you see the pictures? I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. If you click on Zillow, it'll probably show you pictures. You see how, like, Compared to your house, and this is just apples to apples because I, I got to be smart about it. They, it looks like they had it under contract at one point, and it fell out, and then they actually lowered the price to 204, you know, a little while ago. But I'm just trying to see where, wh how do you think this compares to your house, basically? Again, I, I really can't say, man. Um, um, uh, well, mine. First of all, mine is a brick home. Brick. Okay. Brick. So that's that's good. That's good to know. I like that. Brick, brick. is better. Yeah, brick and vinyl. Um, but it's majority brick. Um, for starters, and, and again, the the lot size is the lot size is double. Double. Yeah what they're offering at, at 204, even though it was a price um, reduction I'm there. I'm trying to find the exact one. Oh, that's a lot, but I can't see it. Yeah, I think it's like point four, uh, four three acres. Yes, yeah, yeah, point, yep, point four two five. And, and the house, uh, just one lot is, is seven point um, zero acres. Got it. Where, where, where the, yeah, where, where it really, okay, what, I really want to make this deal work, I just want to, man, if it was in Winston, I'd just come by and see it, but i tell you what, if I can, if, if, if I could get the 145, would you, would, would you make it happen today? You know, I, like I said, you have to give me some time frame as doing, um, I'm not asking for days or nothing or, or time to find another buyer at a higher price or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. you know, so I'm just asking for, you know, um, the time to get my ducks in order for us, you know, doing my research on who you are and who you represent, which represent as far as your, your rate on your clothing and just, you know, yeah. reviews on, on your company. Okay. Um, what's a good email for you? Um, and, and I can text you directly on this phone here. Um, no, this is a land. Okay. A land. Okay. Um, it's best just to email me. Okay. I, I respond pretty quickly. I, I I'm on top of my emails all day, every day. Okay. Perfect. So what I'll do is I'm. We have our own in-house attorney, paralegal, and all that stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them do some research and 
try to get you out of contract in the next 30 minutes. Okay. Does that work? That sounds, that sounds good, man. I didn't think I was going to be buying a house in Durham today, but I guess I am. Congratulations, man. <laughs> just hope and just pray everything works out for the both of us, man. I need a discount on some on some rock delivery to my property, <laughs> man. That's, uh, look, I, that's I, what I should have put in there. That's what I should have threw in there. When everything's said and done, man, look, I will definitely give you my business card. All right. We're going to make yeah, something happen, man. I don't know how much you need, but I can definitely... We can work out a, a, a definitely good price on some loads. Yeah, because I, I just put, I, I just bought 20 acres I'm putting my house on. And uh, yes, they making me do all types of erosion control permit plans and all types of stuff. So. Yes, sir. But, um, so what I'll do is I'll get this over to Tammy, and then Tammy will send you an email, and we'll go from there. That sounds good. Yeah, it's good talking to you, man. Maybe one day we'll sit down and talk about some other stuff. Sounds great, man. Uh, so you'll be hearing from me soon. If you need anything and want to text me, this is my this is my personal line. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. We'll talk soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how you close the deal. That man was capping hard. Yeah, he the really was. He really yeah. was. He was holding back so much. 